to fit the flute. Let's go to work. The reason why we're taking it out, self evident in a second. The old flu. It just cut straight through it. There you go, straight through. It's because now, because that's fallen that way, it'll drip down there. Maybe. Pretty rusty. through the gas line or the middle of the hole and typically the hole denotes where this is going to be so it'll shift over to there so that looks pretty good right there. Yep. Okay. pick up our frame in this case I can just take that, put it there, yeah, and that is pretty much where that's going to be. Yeah. Chop this out. I think that might be the way forward, and then we'll just pack the bottom out the tile on that side there. Cover your pipes. Because all the crap's going to go down them. That's our position there. So, And this one wants to be packed off the wall because of these tiles. Yeah, bang on. I loosen off the back that's around the back, and these can jiggle a little bit because when you when you come to fit them to the boiler, you tend to find that they want a bit of backwards and forwards movement and left and right. So I loosen the back nuts. Filling loop. They normally, you know, you're doing this. You can actually fit it underneath here. And that's how it should look, nice and clean. Okay. Okay. I'll take this and I'll cut this off. Just that flower. Yeah. Cut that off. Take a file. Clearly, it's a lot easier if you don't have a camera on your shoulder. That's it. Clean it all out. Put your washer on there. Job done. And then you just use half inch washer. Bingo. Yeah. So I'm still scotch bright all of these fittings first before I even do anything. This is how it comes. Gas yep. twenty two. So we're looking for a connection on there. So this is the setup. So you've got return, cold in, gas in, hot out for hot water services and flow for central heating. See, we've got to make up some space here. Yeah. Well, pretty much. That's what we're up to. Might have to do 
do something a little bit cheeky there. But so we've got an issue. We've got to fit this on the mains and some bright spark has left me no space at all. So that is as good as that's going to get. I'll have to make it up. Maybe even come back on it itself. Anyway, let's see if we can get this done. Okay, so that's as much as I can get on that. You can see my shot passed, but there's nothing I can do. The only thing I can try and do is get up and then bend. We'll see what happens. For tips, I'll grab a couple of these. Ooh. Don't like that. I'm sitting here, barely on. You can see here, uh, should have gone all the way back there. It's only on maybe 10 mil as opposed to those. Yeah, you can see the difference between that one. This is how quick it is. I'll probably just do it a couple of times. You don't want to do them too close to that. Sometimes I get a bit too stressed. Okay. Okay. She swage. seem to have this fascination with lovely looking pipes when no pun intended when it's more beneficial that it doesn't leak
recording. Time to power flush. Boiler's isolated. So I push fit onto there. So that's one. And go to twenty-two. So now we got. 22, 22. Got hoses for fitting washer, sorry. Not the washer. Yeah. Remember, isolate the boiler so that you don't put any muck into the boiler. Okay. It's all tight there. water check in no leaks no leaks so just power flushing the system uh, getting rid of the uh, dirty heating water and debris so it doesn't contaminate the new system so we're going to have a look. So it's just running through pretty slow at the moment. Another, <coughs> another install. So I've just finished the power flush. Got the two tails. One over here. And one over there. To isolate the boiler. Everything else is connected. So that's it finished. So that's the boiler, just fired it up, so that's just turned on. Yep, now we've got our water. 